Oh, yeah, that felt good. You miss me? Another day, another job. But I'm guessing you wouldn't know how that feels, brooding up here on your own like some turn-of-the-century philosopher. There's more to existence than arbitrary popularity. You think I'm shallow? Well, that's a remarkably shallow question, Salt. You're just jealous. I rest my case. People love me. They use me and abuse me, but they always come back for more. I'm the gift that keeps on giving. There's a reason they call it salt of the earth, pepper. Matthew 5.13. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost his savour, wherewith shall it be salted? Whilst I don't typically prescribe to the teachings of religion, I do question whether you have completely comprehended the intended message. I question your face. Brush me to the burns unit. Oh, here we go again, baby! You weren't wrong about using and abusing. Don't be smug, it doesn't suit you. Pepper, are you awake? You've been wheezing like a foot pump for days. So, unfortunately, yes. I guess I've been pretty vocal about it. Even your breath desperately seeks validation. <laughs> That's funny. I guess I literally am shallow now. Can I, can I ask you something, Pepper? Well, setting aside your paradoxical syntax, go ahead. I know you said you weren't religious, but well, do you think do you think there's something after this? You know, like an afterlife. <laughs> You're dying, aren't you? You know I don't possess the cognitive faculties to answer a question like that, Salt. Well, you spend most of your days sat up here thinking about that sort of thing. Well, I... I, I, I don't know. I, I hope so. I wouldn't wish an eternity of non-existence upon my worst enemy. <laughs> you mean I'm not your worst enemy? I... I suppose you're my only enemy. And my... my only friend. Oh. Good night, Pepper. Hello, boys. 